It was New Year's Eve, but I already knew the year ahead wasn't going to be no better than the last. I had zero hope for a brighter future. But screw it, if you can't change it, you might as well make the best of what the hell you got. They call that shit acceptance, apparently. God grant me the serenity to accept what I cannot change and all the rest of that stuff. I'm not an alcoholic, though. I haven't drank nothing since the summer of 2009. I don't do no drugs, either. Well, except weed. But weed ain't even a drug, as far as I'm concerned. Like the great Cat Williams said, it's just a plant, and if you happen to set it on fire, it has some effects. I, I guess that technically would be a drug, though, uh, because it's a substance that's got some mind-altering effects on its user, but you know. Anyway, as I was saying, it was New Year's Eve, and I was sitting on the roof of my house, bobbing my head to a Jay Dilla beat, trying to freestyle. Instrumental hip-hop was always my go-to when I wanted to space out and just think about life, but half the time that didn't work because the beat was just too infectious and I couldn't help rhyming to it. A gift and a curse, this whole rap thing. Really just this whole creative thing in general. People like me can't do regular everyday activities because instead of focusing on the task at hand, we just start connecting the dots and putting the pieces of the puzzle together about everything that we're observing. Whether that involves finding the connections between how different words sound and rhyming them together, or seeing the beauty in how things look visually and thinking of a way to transform what you see into a work of art, or observing people and creating backstories and characters for them to work into your next novel or short story. Same shit at the end of the day. But yeah, back to the lecture at hand. It was New Year's Eve, I was on the roof, no I wasn't about to jump or nothing crazy like that. I was listening to some instrumental hip hop, Jay Dilla to be exact. I was pondering the state of my life at this present moment. I was getting distracted by rhymes that kept creeping into my head and settling in like a house guest that you generally enjoy the company of, but you gotta kick out every once in a while because otherwise you would never get anything done. I was pondering why the hell I couldn't do nothing for more than three to four months at a time. I couldn't keep a job beyond that time frame, couldn't keep a woman. My last three relationships all lasted barely a month and a half. <laughs> Ain't that about a bitch. I'm not the best judge of character, I guess. Maybe I'm just a desperate ass motherfucker. <laughs> Maybe both, I don't know. I also couldn't keep up with a personal goal for longer than that either. Like Hobson said, I would pick something up, try it out, and put it down five minutes later. I never had much practice doing things when I didn't want to do them. I usually had to feel a particular burst of inspiration to do something. And when that shit was gone, so was my desire to do whatever it was that I had originally been so excited about. But I was trying my best lately, I really was. I was trying to find a way to like something about every situation that I was in. Even if it was something that generally didn't appeal to me. Find the good and the bad, as they say. I was much better at finding the bad and the good, though. I could think of a way that a situation might go wrong in a split second. My brain was just wired like that. The sound of the fireworks masked the noise below. I didn't even notice, lost in my own mind as I was, the man who was right beside me. I felt the cold steel, touched by the December air, pressed to my skull. Get on your knees. What the fuck? I barely had time to realize what was happening, but I was already sweating bullets. Don't get me wrong, I'd had a gun pointed at me my fair share of times, but that was in the past, during my old life. This was not something I expected to happen at this present point in time. Sure, my life wasn't all the way together, but I sure as hell wasn't looking down the barrel of a Glock 23 on a habitual basis no more either. Did I stutter? Get on your knees. Now you have two options. You give me your wallet and your phone, your watch and any nice jewelry you got on you, or you give me your life. I missed Christmas this year, and I got a lady who needs something, or she ain't sticking around, and I like my lady. I could feel my old instincts coming back to me. It was like a beast that lived inside that I had managed to quiet down for almost a decade, but the bastard was still in there somewhere. And what two options is that, motherfucker? You think I have shit? I don't have nothing. I'm broke as you, motherfucker. Do I look like I got anything worth taking? Here, take this fucking pack of extra gum out my back pocket. You can have it. What else do you want? You want this wallet with these seven fucking dollars in it? You can have that shit too. Maybe you want this blank fucking notepad I got also. Take it, motherfucker. Go home and give it to your fucking lady. I bet she's sick of looking at an ugly piece of shit like you every time she wakes up in the morning. <laughs> I wasn't planning on using this thing tonight, but you forced my hand. The truth is, no one will avenge you. No one will be here when they hear the shot. The fireworks will cover that. 
You got a couple seconds before the next round goes off. They'll be the last thing you see. And you think the cops will look for me? <laughs> I got friends in high places, boy. Now go ahead. Look at the sky. The next round of fireworks were about to go off. I looked up at the sky, savoring this last moment on Earth. Maybe this will be something I can finally commit to. From here, there ain't no going back. A distinctive whistle could be heard from a few blocks away. A sizzle. And finally, the whoosh of a rocket flying high into the air. My vision filled with lights. My face lit up by the fireworks. The new year had arrived. And my world went black. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the story. I've been trying to keep it a consistent release schedule, or as close to that as I can manage. This time it was a story featuring my friend as the primary voice actor. His name was Des Rhodes, that's the moniker he's going by, and he hasn't written in a really long time, but I wanted to see if I could help him get back in the saddle with it a little bit, so I co-wrote this with him. Hopefully you guys give him a warm welcome, and if you guys appreciated it, give him your two cents in the comments down below. What's up, guys? Thank you for listening to my story. I used to write a lot of kind of creative writing type of pieces back when I was younger, when I was in like elementary, middle school, when that kind of stuff was promoted to us. You know, I, I, I prefer to write creatively. I prefer to just express myself however the fuck I want to, which is why I rap. But this is another uh, avenue that I want to go down the path of after hearing my good friend J. Patrick Wentz do his story and I figured you know I can write something too and so I did but uh, I think I think for my first short story in probably eight nine ten years I think this is some some fire and I also want to say thank you to Phil for uh, coaching me through this process giving me the motivation to write this giving me the confidence to write it because I thought we weren't going to have the time to do it I thought I couldn't think of it I thought I couldn't finish it yada 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 but he inspired me he he kept me confident and we did it and he finished it off and uh, yeah, and, and also thank you for recording me, having me in the studio, editing it, mastering it, putting all your magical producer, audio engineer touches on it, which I know that you're a master of. Thank you for that, sir. I appreciate it. And I hope we can do more of these in the future. Wow. What a welcome. I mean, I didn't ask him to say any of that stuff, but I appreciate that he did. Thanks a lot, friendo. So uh, if anybody in the comment section, of course, since this is a democracy and I like to run it as such, has any desire to bring that guy back or last week's JP Wentz back or anybody, if you want anybody to be featured in one of my videos or if you guys want to be involved or whatever, of course, leave a comment in the section below and I will get back to you. It's a small enough channel that I'll never have to worry about missing a comment. So thank you so much for listening, guys. And until next time, I'll probably see you next time I see you.